Hello everyone, here is speaking Rafał Gendasz. Uh, today we will be analyzing the chart of Gordon Ramsay. Um, I think everybody knows him. He's a very famous uh, chef and uh, he, ga he gained a culinary uh, hall of fame. And he's very well known also as an entrepreneur and also as a person who is a celebrity in the TV. He is also having a foundation uh, with his wife and he's very well known personality. And uh, I will show you how uh, to how his life is depicted in the uh, Vedic chart. So we will go straight away to his life. So as we know, the uh, Gordon Ramsay was, uh, is a British chef, best known as most popular restaurant, writer, TV personality and uh, critic. And um, he has been awarded with 16 Michelin stars, currently he's holding seven. I didn't know you can, I didn't know before that you can lose them, but <laughs> one learns every day something. And he has Lagnesha in the sixth house. Uh, this position makes the person short-tempered and rebel, if this is Mercury especially. The Mercury in the sixth house, if afflicted, has that um, result that it can give a um, person who is rebelling after society or against society. Mercury is uh, showing also the culture of the person, how we behave with the, with the culture. And sixth house is also a very important uh, house when it comes to our community. So when Mercury is afflicted in the sixth house, it can really bring the many problems to the persons, especially to the temper, the temper can suffer. And if that is as uh, related to the Lagna Lord or the Fort Lord or in important points in the chart related to character, the person can be very short tempered. And in his chart, we see, I will show you the, his chart soon in the next page. And uh, this Mercury is also the fourth Lord. And the fourth Lord also shows mind, mental. And uh, the Lagna Lord, the expositor, is also Mars. And this Mars is in the third house, which also is related to anger and fight and communication and so on. And there is also... Another factor, the third from Aruda Lagna, which also is related to temper, to, to fight, to that enterprise, is also related to that short temperedness and it's joint Mars. So, in his chart, maybe I will show you that chart now. Uh, there is also one big improvement from the last conversation, uh, namely that now we have the more popular uh, style of charts. We have the south chart in the top and diamond chart or the north type of charts uh, below. So uh, the last time when we did uh, Kendall Jenner, we had, I, I showed you the East Indian chart, which we use in our tradition the most, but this is, these, char these two charts are also very popular. And the, especially the, 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 uh, the top chart here, uh, the, uh, the quadrant chart, this is the South Indian chart. And this we say is a Vedic, but the, this North, the diamond chart, we say that it was uh, brought to India by Yavanas, by the Greek tradition. Okay, so in the last slide, I told you about uh, his short temper. He is known from using the F word a lot, and he is known by using his, uh, losing his temper. So, I, I explained that this has to do with that Mercury in the sixth house here. You see the, the Lagna, the ascendant, always shows our personality. This is, this is us, our personality. And the position of Lagna Lord, Lagna is, is this first house, is this ascendant. Lagna is just the Indian name for ascendant. The position of that ascendant Lord shows our, how we act our interaction with the world, with the people and with the world. So how we act. And this very much defines our character, how we deal with people. So this is a very strong factor to see. And this is loaded by Mercury just because he has ascendant in Gemini. In this, he was born in the time when his ascendant is Gemini. And Gemini is loaded by Mercury, always. Gemini is loaded by Mercury, and Mercury is in the sixth house here. Right, and this is afflicted by Saturn and Mars because they they are aspecting this sign, this house. Because Mars is always this is this rule of aspects that Mars always aspects the fourth house 
and Saturn always aspects the 10th house. So we have aspect of the Saturn and Mars on that Mercury. And therefore, this Mercury is very afflicted, we say. We could also argue that, okay, Mars is aspecting its own sign because here it's Scorpio and Scorpio is loaded by Mars. So this aspect may not be so uh, fatal or problematic. Okay, this is a quite fair argument. But anyway, for the character of the person, for his short temperedness, still the Mars would give that anger, would give that fierce personality, would give person who will shout, scream, and, and be very short temper and straightforward and so on. Very angry, we could say. And now when, when we now combine this with the fourth Lord and moon, you see the fourth, here is his mind because here the, the Lagna is intelligence and the fourth house is the mind. And especially the moon is also mind. So this Mercury now is the dispositor of the fourth and of the moon. So now we see that his mind is very, we could say the troubled mind angry mind he's very angry all the time because it's in the sixth house sixth house has to do with enemies and competition all the time and uh, and this is in the sign of mars and aspected by mars it's 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 a lot it's a lot and uh later we will learn that aruda lagna in his rasi is here the aruda lagna is is the point in the chart which shows now what lifestyle you have why, how you have created yourself in the society, how people see you, how people perceive you. So it's not something physical, but more about your personality, your lifestyle, how you, how you act in the society. And this Mars is also inferred from Aruda Lagna. Normally it's 11, but Ketu is in Aruda Lagna, so we go reverse, this becomes the third. So that, that makes person also very short-tempered. Especially this point makes person very, very short-tempered. There are much more points to this. I will not discuss that because that will make this recording very long. But for example, Rahu is also suspecting that by, by both planetary aspect Grahadrishti and sign aspect Rasi Drishti. So there is a lot. There is a lot to this. Uh, so I think that, that, that this, this chart shows his short temperedness very clearly. This is really, and this Mercury is even Vakri, retrograde, retrograde, which means that he's very determined person and this is very interesting because i don't know how many of you know that before approaching his culinary career life he was a soccer player he wanted to be a soccer player and mercury also shows sports and in martial science shows competition so basically and the, the same uh the same stimuli the same uh uh, energy and charisma and all that which he had for for playing soccer which is also a kind of aggressive game he brought that to his uh cooking right so that and he and he even said that that he couldn't be the best there so he tried to be the best in this sector so that is very interesting okay the next point which I want to make, uh, which I want to show you here in this chart, is um, the yoga, which is called Graha Malika Yoga. Okay? And when we talk about Graha Malika Yoga, we have in mind a situation in the chart where all planets... Graha Malika basically means the garland. So it means that the planets are sign by sign, house by house, after, after other. So they form like a train, like a garland, we could say. They have to be more than four planets. And this become, if that is present in the chart, this became the most important yoga in the chart. Then the beginning planet and the ending planet, these uh, become most important this yoga becomes most important and defines the whole person so here we have jupiter and mercury jupiter and mercury this is the yoga called uh, uh, sarva karya siddhi yoga this is yoga combination of plants which give which makes person very skilled very very skilled if you see jupiter and mercury in the chart very good also called guru shisha yoga teacher and student relationship it makes person very skilled 
And uh, this became becomes even more important because he has tent lord. Here we have a tent lord. Tent lord shows career life. Tent is about career. We see that there is a tent. Uh, here is the first house. Here we have the fourth house. Here we have seven house. Here is the tent. Here is Pisces. Pisces is loaded by Jupiter. Therefore, Jupiter is in the second house. And this is Cancer, because after Gemini is Cancer, Rashi. Jupiter in Cancer is exalted. So Tent Lord, the Lord which shows career life of the person, is exalted. It's very high. Very Basically, it means I exalted grahas means very idealistic. This is in second house. So it has to do with food, has to do with team, has to do with family. These things will be important in person's life. Especially when it comes to wealth. The tent house in Rashi shows the wealth of the person very much. And uh, this gives, when, when this is also a seven lord. When seven lord is in second house, it makes person, gives person very stable married life because seven lord is about married life. So the same planet is ruling both his relationship and his career life. So when seven lord is in the second house, I mean, it's stable because it's it's good planet. It's it's well placed. It's very strong. It's very auspicious in that manner. It's Jupiter exalted, very auspicious planet. But it's in the eighth house from the seven. From the seven, it's in the eighth house. Therefore, it can make person uh, not available. So the spouse or a person, they normally it is due to work because it's especially here it's tent lord. So due to work, he will don't have so much time for the marriage, for the relationship, and so on. And also another point, the tent lord in the second house normally gives problems with senior workers, senior workers, and makes a lot of auspiciousness for the junior workers. This is the blessings. The same combination has Narendra Modi, the president of India, tent lord in the second house. And uh, in the article given by Sanjay Rat, uh, the guru of our school, of our parampara. He also made a point that Narendra Modi, when he came to power, he had to challenge his senior uh, colleagues in the parliament and so on. So in the government. So that is the tent load in the second house. It brings challenges to the senior workers. It gives a lot of blessings for, from children and people. And even... About the Gordon Ramsay, it was interesting to, to re re read that he has very good relationship with children. He had some um, had to, he had some TV um, event when he was dealing with children, and everyone was surprised that he has very short temper with adults, but with children he behaves. Uh, very, like a very sweet person. Maybe this is also related to, to that fact that, that he, this tent lord in second house really blesses his work, his acting, his mission when it comes to fifth house. So therefore it can give also the power. Now this Jupiter also in the Dashamsa, I will show you on the last slide, the Dashamsa chart, it has Digbala. This is combination for success. If the tent lord from the Rasi chart is is well placed in the Samsha, especially in Digbala, this makes person successful. The Shamsa, as I said, is this specific additional chart which shows career life. Okay, so that was a very important thing about Grahamalika Yoga. Uh, he also have a moon in the fourth house in his chart. This means, and this moon is dispositor of the tent lord. This is very important because the, the tent lord, I will show you uh, again. This tent lord here was in second house in the cancer, right? Here is the cancer. And the dispositor of cancer is that moon in the fourth house. So dispositor is very important. It's called also Anitya Karaka. Uh, this tent lord in the second house, but the second lord is in the fourth house. So the moon became dispositor of a seven and 10th Lord Jupiter. So dispositor of career life. What is the ruler of his career life, we could say? And this shows normally resources of the person. Where are the resources? And uh, this moon in the fourth house has, has something, is in the yoga, which is called, has, has directional strength and is in Digbala yoga. 
Now, Digibala means directional strength. It means that the planet has the blessings of intelligence and it became behaving like a devata of that planet. And the moon in the fourth house, devata of the planets is Vayu. And Vayu is related to Hanuman. Therefore, these people are very strong. If someone has a moon in the fourth house, they can eat a lot like Hanuman and they can be very strong. And here is a short indication which planets have, in which signs they have directional strength. So you can see that here. Okay, let's go further. Now, uh, when he was five, now ne next, next uh, important event, which is nicely seen in his chart, is that when he was five, he moved to Stratford in UK. And uh, that was when the, here the Vrishika Dasha was activated again. And this is because the first and fourth lord is Mercury also. And this shows also place of stay. When there are malefics in these houses or, or some problems, then the person goes, goes abroad because it doesn't feel good in the... It's not happy with the place, like it said here. It was also Narayan Dasha of Badaka. Badaka. This is a special house. I explained it a little bit in the last conversation. And this also shows foreign travel. So that also shows. Uh, the other timing system shows that when he was five, this Badaka was activated and this Mercury. So we have two points which shows he can move abroad. And in Vimshot Tridasha, most popular system, he was in the Moon Moon Dasha in the fourth house. Moon is in the fourth house. So something to do with going abroad. And normally we could argue that how it is possible when benefit in the fourth house, how he could go abroad. But this Moon is also a 12th Lord. So 12th Lord in the fourth house. 12th Lord has to do with foreign travels. And fourth house has to do with place of stay. So in the moon, moon, he moved to Stratford because 12th house, the foreign, has come to a place. Right? Very easy. And this is because here is a Taurus Rashi and Taurus is ruled by the moon. Okay, let's go further. Now, this, this is something very nice. I think that that, that page or in the next one are the best thing in, the, in, in his chart. This is a bit advanced, uh, but this shows how he uh, basically moved from that soccer player dream to his culinary adventure, we could say, culinary career life. How this is seen in the chart. And this is basically shown by this Rahu and Mars yoga because he, uh, and, and I have written here, initially wanted to be soccer player, but smashed his cartilage during training and then a uh, ligament during a squash game, signed when he was 15. And this, this period is very important. In Mars Mercury period, uh, Mercury is in the 12th in Navamsha, which shows health problems, right? And now, so he was in Mercury period. Now, Mercury is in Lagna Lot in sixth house. So Lagna Lot normally shows, now, this is, this is great because this one position of Mercury in that sixth house, this has many meanings. And all of these meanings are really fulfilled in his life. For example, Lagna Lot in sixth house also can make, there is a rule when the Lagna Lot is in Dushtana, then one is resigning from something. So he was resigning in that time. In Mercury Dasha, he was resigning from his soccer uh, career and uh, took another direction. This is one thing. The, another yoga is that when Lagna Lot is in, afflicted, then one can have health issues. And in that time, especially in sixth house, which shows these kind of problems, he had health issues, right? Okay, but so, so that is the one part of this story, one important part. But the second, um, another layer, which is going on in the same time, is that he has Aruda Lagna here in the chart. Aruda Lagna, as I said, shows the placement in society. He has that in Aries. Now, when Rahu Dasha came, that was not good for that Aruda Lagna because Rahu is expecting that Mars and this cause energy of, or fire of this Mars is quenched, is, is, is restricted. So he cannot have that Aruda then. And then this Aruda jumps here to Libra. And here we have Venus. So he became the celebrity. He became the uh, person who is working within entertaining sector. 
just because of that Venus, right? And then this Venus is an own sign. When Venus is an own sign, it can give results of moon. And therefore, he is working with, with food. This moon is also important. We have also moon here and Mercury having the Kartari Yoga, but that is also here important. So, so this shows that change, big change, because Mercury here was expecting this Aruda Lagna, would, which gives sports. So that is change from sports to culinary profession. This, this is very nicely shown in his chart. I, I love this, uh, how this is, this is great. This is just great how this is seen in the chart. And uh, there is also yoga done when malefics here, malefics was in fifth from Arudha Lagna. When malefics are in fifth from Arudha Lagna, person have accidents. And especially this yoga, Rahu and Mars, this shows accidents. This is also in his Navamsha Lagna, Navamsha Lagna, this is Rahu and Mars. Therefore, he had some accident, which was very important when it comes to creating that social image, this Arudha Lagna. Okay, that was, that was great. When I saw that in his chart and read about his biography, how these things developed, it was really nice thing to read. Okay, the next thing is that here I have, uh, I've, uh, this is just, I, I, I shortened wh whatever I collected from many biographies about his life. I just shortened it to that <laughs> few words uh, that he decided to study French cuisine, First, uh, he was, uh, uh, when he resigned from that soccer playing, he was, uh, he entered uh, studies related to hotels. Then he worked in, in some hotel uh, already as, a, as, as some uh, chef in the practice in that hotel. And then he met, uh, th then he was working in a few uh, uh, restaurants in UK. And then he met uh, Albert Roof. In Mayfair, I don't know if I pronounce that properly, probably not. And then he met Breton. These are important names in the culinary world. And then he, when he was working with that person, he wanted to try the French cuisine. And therefore, he went to French Alps and then to Paris, Paris where when he met there Savoy. This is also a very important person when it comes to that culinary world. And he considers in some, one of the, his interviews, he, he considers that this guy Savoy is his mentor. And he was training under him for three years. Then he was working at the act for a year. And then he ba came back to London. And in, yeah, then, then he had some partnership with that Pierre Kaufman. And in 98, he opened his own, here, he opened his own restaurant, which is called Aubergine. Okay. That's very interesting. That's very interesting because that, that shows basically that, that he uh, was uh, learning. He was uh, like a student. He had uh, big teachers. These teachers, these this mentors he had, they played a very significant role in his life. This is shown by his Saturn in, in his chart. I will not discuss that because that's quite advanced and using different systems of analysis, but that is also there in the chart. Okay, so uh, this I already discussed, that this Venus in, in Aruda Lagna now, Aruda Lagna is now here, it jumped to its seven from here, and now this shows his profession. So basically, when we have Aruda Lagna, uh, tomorrow I will uh, publish a post on my Instagram about calculation of Aruda, how we do it. But the rule is that it, it, it jumps to a seven, when it, the seven is stronger, it can jump to seven from it. And then, Aha, I, there is also a very nice rule that when Aruda Lagna joins Ketu, the person is elitist, like being the belonging to some elite. He is thinking that he is a special. I assume this is coming because the Rahu and Ketu, the nodes are extremities of the moon and moon shows society. So you can be either antisocial, which is below, or you can be elite, which is also not in the society, like above. So that is the Ketu. So if you have Ketu, anything to do with Aruda Lagna, you may think you are above, you are like elite. It is also interesting. Uh, and then uh, in the last chart, we said that there has to be some debilitated or exalted graha related to 11 from Aruda Lagna, right? Now 11 from Aruda Lagna, if we count reverse, will be this Sagittarius. Now Sagittarius is ruled by Jupiter, which is exalted. Wow. So he will be very wealthy according to this chart. 
And the moon is aspecting also that point. So he will have money from the moon in the fourth house. So moon is like a people, masses. When the 11th from Arudu Lagna is aspected by the moon, person will gain money from the masses in his fourth house. So these masses are in his property, in his place, in his restaurant, we could say. So he's gathering the people in the restaurant and they are giving him the money. This is basically how the chart is showing how he's getting the money. So this is very interesting. Uh, then there are a few yogas in his chart I have mentioned here. This is a chakra yoga, first lord in the, in the fifth house and sixth lord with the fifth lord. This is important yoga. Sixth lord Ketu and fifth lord Venus, he had to, together. This is called Sankhya yoga. This makes person doing, inventing something new. Okay, now I want to, a few words, because we have the last slides already, a few words about his Navamsha and the Samsha. In his, uh, to be a chef, basically you need Mars and Moon. Mars shows cooking abilities, normally connected to the Lagna, and Moon should be connected to the tent, because it's showing, showing the co company, right? So the Lagna has Mars, right? Without any rectification, I didn't rectify his chart at all. If you put just this per details he, he has given, or which are from his uh, hospital record, and you put that into a astrological software, you will just get that. Mars in Navamsha Lagna, very good. Jupiter, this makes person a teacher. So he's also tutoring. He's giving advice to people. He's like expert, right? So this Jupiter has to be very present. And 10th Lord, which shows the wealth, is the moon in the fourth house. So moon is food in the fourth house, like property. So food in the place, in the property, in the restaurant, right? That couldn't be more clear. That's, that's very, very clear. That's just surprisingly clear. And uh, now for, for the Shamsa, this is now, the Shamsa is, this is wrong, this is not the Rasi chart. This is the Shamsa. Here should be the Shamsa. Okay. In the Shamsa, he also have Jupiter in the Lagna. Now this is Seven Lord, which shows he's doing business. He's not employed. He was employed. Here is the employment. And here we have a ninth lord. So he was employed by the foreign chef because ninth house is chef, boss, your boss. And Rahu has to do with foreign. So he was employed by the foreign chef. And then he became, uh, he opened his business. And it's funny because he opened his business. It's very accurate in Rahu Mercury. Why Mercury? Because Mercury is dispositor of that seven lord. Seven has to do with business. And it's in the fifth house, which shows starting some new career life. So that was, it's very, very clear. He has again here, Moon and Venus is yoga for entrepreneurship. Very good. With the Ketu, 10th lord. So this can be also his career life. So, and Mars especially. This is most important because Mars shows working in with in the restaurant or with with fire basically mars shows working with fire and it has to aspect seven lord to show business with fire business with with in the culinary world it has to be there and this is in tent house in digbala so we have jupiter in digbala which gives success because that jupiter is tent lord from his rasi chart and that mars has also digbala very very strong the shamsa so every chart is very strong the shamsa navamsha and rashi the very, very strong charts. I have also the, the last thing I have written here that this Mercury and uh, Mercury when in the 12th from Aruda Lagna and afflicted according to Jaimini can give uh, legal cases, can give um, yeah, some legal proceedings like, like some being sued or suing someone. And he had four of that. I have written here a few, uh, but when he filled, should be D, filled the lawsuit in 2012, March 21, it was Jupiter, Mercury, Mars. Now, this is very accurate because Mercury was in the sixth lord. Sixth has to do also with litigations and legal cases and on so on. Mercury in sixth. And that Mercury was in Mars sign, as you remember, in Scorpio. Very, very accurate. Very accurate. So his Vimshotri was works very good because he has moon in the fourth house. So then we can use that Vimshotri for him. Okay, thank you a lot. I hope uh, this has given you some new perspective of astrology and uh, I will give you, uh, I hope uh, in a few days, I will give you again some new biography analysis and uh, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe, like, and uh, if you uh, have some comments, just uh, please uh, uh, write below. Thank you a lot. Bye.